Hello everyone and welcome to my October newsletter. I've just been doing a few uh, little promo videos for my new book Awaken the Kitten Within and I thought why not do my newsletter as a video rather than sit there tapping it out. It may, may sound kind of bizarre for a writer that I like to avoid writing but I just do so much of it that it's in a way it's kind of just easier for me to sit here with my little book with my uh, bullet points on what to mention and talk to you. Plus I think from a reader's perspective it's sometimes nice to get a bit of a feel for the personality behind the, the words on the page. So I've got a few bullet points I just want to mention. First of all, um, a big thank you to all of you who have pre-ordered Awaken the Kitten Within. As I explained in my last newsletter, uh, it makes a big difference to the Amazon algorithms if a lot of people either pre-order or buy early on in the piece. It just really does affect how many um, other people Amazon shows uh, the book to. Don't ask me why, but I just know that it does. So pre-orders and early sales are very important to keep a book going for quite a few months in a, in a ahead. So thanks to all of you who've done that. Also, a thank you to those of you who entered the competition uh, last month. I've already emailed the winners and um, I'm in the process of mailing out the books. Uh, some of you requested a copy of Awaken the Kitten Within, so have to wait until I actually get stock, which hasn't happened yet. But it will very soon. I'm excited about that. Um, yes, uh, the Awaken the Kitten Within, November the 5th. Remember it, put it in your diary, big circle around the date. Um, personally, <clears throat> I've got a big circle, a double circle around the date because I'm terribly excited that ABBA are producing their new album then. Uh, I know I'm dating myself, but who? what's the point in pretending? I was a big ABBA fan when growing up and I'm so excited they're finally putting out something else. Um, so um, it's happening on the same day by coincidence. They're stealing my thunder. How dare they? Uh, Friday the 5th of November, their new album comes out at the same same day as my new book. Um, yeah, I've got other books that I'm working on, of course. There's always stuff bubbling away here in my office. Um, I don't want to distract anyone by talking about that at the moment, besides which it's very early days and, you know, it's never entirely clear from an authorial perspective what's actually going to fly and what isn't going to fly. You just have to keep on producing material and sending it out and hoping that some of it sticks. Um, but suffice it to say, there are some interesting developments bubbling away, and I look forward to sharing with those with you in the future. Um, yeah, one thing I wanted to mention, because I haven't uh, brought it up again, but I spent quite some time writing a, a non-fiction booklet called Medicine Buddha, which you'll find under the free stuff section of my website. Now, as the name suggests, it's free of charge. Um, but this is a document which essentially explains the practice of Medicine Buddha, which is a very powerful and precious practice in Tibetan Buddhism. It explains the practice from both a Western perspective as why, it was, why might this practice work in terms of science, and also from a Tibetan Buddhist perspective, you know, what is the history behind it? Why, uh, why is, does it have such great resonance? So, and I explain, of course, the, a bit about the practice itself to enable you to actually go away and start doing it. So if this is a practice that you either know about or would like to explore, you may just find that a handy booklet to have. Also, um, in my book, The Secret Mantra, which was published late last year, um, The Secret Mantra is actually Medicine Buddha's mantra. Uh, this is only revealed later in the book. I don't think it's too much of a, uh, a plot spoiler to tell you that. But if, if any of you are interested in the, the kind of facts behind the fiction, then you may find this medicine a booklet uh, interesting from that perspective as well. Um, one quick note to people who live in Perth, I'm doing an introduction to Buddhism course over five Sundays from 10.30 to 12, was it 12.30? Can't remember, I think 12.30, over five Sundays from October the 24th, I think it is. Sorry to be so vague, but if you want a book, um, you need to go online to the Tibetan Buddhist Society.com.au where you'll find more information and you can register. So just if you're interested, uh, it's a good way of getting a bit of an overview of the key themes in Tibetan Buddhism. Um, Mindful Safari just wants to mention that, uh, of course, my wife Koala and I are so keen to get back to Africa and to uh, bring along as many of you want to come with us. We can only take groups, of course, of a certain number. We've only got 10 rooms apart from the one that we are in. Uh, so that limits the numbers we can take at any one time. It's a deliberately 
are you know, quite an intimate experience. It's just up to 20 people. Um, and we tend to keep away from others as, you know, really special. And it's a wonderful way of, of forming wonderful friendships that, uh, that last for years and years across the world. Um, anyway, it hasn't happened for a couple of years for obvious reasons, but I'm keeping tabs on everything that's going on as regards borders, flights, vaccination rates, blah, blah, blah. And as soon as there's any likelihood of us being able to return, I will let you know. I have a, a mindful safari priority list that some of you are already on and you'll be the first pe people to know uh, when we get the green light. But I just wanted to mention that while I'm appearing uh, to, to, to reassure anybody that's kind of contemplating it that it's far from forgotten. And uh, yeah, just last to say, if you like this uh, video format, uh, let me know. Um, it's very easy from my perspective just to sit down and talk to the camera. Um, but maybe you prefer the written word. I don't know. So uh, anyway, let me know in your emails. I can't promise to reply to them. Sometimes there are kind of overwhelming numbers and I'm trying to knock out chapter three of the next book. And it's uh, a massive distraction because there's nothing more time consuming than, than writing a book. And you have to be really focused and kind of tunnel visioned, uh, sort of disappear down the rabbit hole in writing. Uh, so my apologies if I am not always very good at responding to uh, emails, but you can be assured that I, I read all of them. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, once again, thank you so much for being such wonderful supporters. Um, it's your emails and messages uh, that really keep me going in sharing these, what I regard as the most important messages that there are, and how to be happy in this lifetime and to prepare for what happens next. So thanks everyone. I hope you found uh, this a useful exercise and um, I'll be back in touch closer to uh, the launch of Awaken the Kitten Within.